Okay, what we're going to talk about on this SQL video is the um, option of union and why you would use it. Um, union basically allows you to join two completely distinct data sets and put them together. Um, so quite often you'd say, well, I'd use a join. Well, joining is um, a crosswords. And what I mean by that is that you would have an employee which would then do a sale or a customer that does an order. In this scenario, this is not about going across with, this is about going downwards. So what I've got on screen at the moment is I have two distinct different um, sources here. I have the customers table and I have the employees table. Let's just say for argument's sake that I wanted to incorporate all of the above. I wanted the company names as well as the employees all in one big list. A way that you could approximate this is if this was a doctor's surgery you would have um, the doctor's name and address and the employee's name and address. So what if you wanted to actually produce a full name and address list of both doctors and employees? Well, this is how you would do it. So at the moment, we've just got these two completely distinct data sources. Now, what we can do is we can just abut them together, i.e. almost like if you're in Excel, copy and paste a list directly underneath. Now, for this, though, I just need to explain there are two types of union you can have. There is a union and there is a union all. So what I'm going to do in this video is explain what the differences are. So first of all, I've already ran the script here and at the top I've got the company name and as you can see I've got the name list at the bottom. So I have nine employees and here if I just scroll down we have 91 employees here. And as you can see it says 91 rows. Now let's do a little bit of math here. Um, if I've got 91 rows and I have 9 employees, if I join them together, I would expect to see 100. Well, watch what happens. Let me just do union. And so it's a select union and then another select statement. And so if I execute that, let's see what happens. Hang on a minute. Let's just look at the very bottom right here. It says 99 rows. I thought it was 91 plus 9, which would give us 100. Well, strictly, that is correct. However, union looks at each data set and strips out duplication. Now, let me just get rid of union and run it again, because what I did was I actually created one of the employees called Around the Horn, which happens to be the same as this particular record in here. So what's going on is as both data sets are going in, it suddenly identifies Around the Horn already exists once, therefore, I'm going to get rid of it. Now, what we can do is if I do union space all, this tells it to override it. So now if I just run it, I now get a hundred rows. There's row number four around the horn. And if I whiz right down to the bottom, I should see around the horn again. So there we go. So what happened was that got put at the very end because it was the very last record in the employees table. So it got rid of and the duplication. So that's the difference between what union is and what union all is. You would use it generally to abut data sources together rather than what I would call horizontally which would be a customer to a an order or a product. This is more of a case of I have two separate lists which display the same kind of data. If so I want to put, abut them together and I have the option of either union and union all. Incidentally, in SSIS, if you are going into that, you will notice that the only union command in SSIS is union all, because you'll never want to get rid of extra data. So, short video, but hopefully it makes um, sense and you can use it wherever you want. Thanks.